Initiator Pharma. It's a Danish clinical stage company developing drugs that target conditions within the central and peripheral nervous system. And I have here with me Klaus Olesen, the CEO of the company, who's going to tell us more about it. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you very much for hosting me. Please tell me what specific conditions uh, are you targeting? So in the conditions that we are focusing on in Initiative Pharma is uh, sexual dysfunctions and pain. And you can say, well, how do we do that? Well, you mentioned dopamine. We go in and regulate dopamine levels, which is one of the monomines that are really important signal molecule for transmitting emotions, arousal, but also in the, you know, in the pain setting, we know that dopamine is important. We have conducted two clinical trials with our lead candidate, Putafensin, where we have shown in a phase 2B study that we have function on efficacy function, on erectile dysfunction for men suffering from that. And we also shown in a healthy volunteer study that we actually can get really good pain relief with Putafensin, in our lead candidate. And uh, how are you different uh, from the, RX, the existing drug, like Viagra is one of those uh, who yeah, should so be your competitor? Yeah, it's, we see it as a, a drug that is meant for a specific part of the population. So we are treating the patients that do not get relief from the PD-5 inhibitors, Viagra and Cialis and so on. Popularly speaking, you can say that those products that are all mentioned called PD-5 inhibitors, they can prolong a natural occurring erection. What we can do with Initiator Pharma, we can actually strengthen the natural erection response and get an erection. So actually we can start it, we can strengthen this course and where PD-5 inhibitor only can prolong one that is already there. So that's the differentiating. So you're not replacing them, but you're nope. like completing. It, it's a complement uh, to that, yes. And uh, what, what stage are you in, I mean, uh, in the process? So we have a, a conducted a phase 2B uh, study at two dose levels uh, in 130 patients. And we uh, announced that data uh, last year. And now we are ongoing business development, trying to find partners to bring us this to the market. Of course, we would still need to do a phase 3 or an extended phase 2B before we go into a phase 3, before you can launch a product. But that's the thing we're working on with the business development right now. Where are your market going to be for launching the products? Oh, the, the main market, the drug market, is of course in the US, but of course Europe is also a very large market. So we'll definitely see that as one of the two ter main territories for our drug candidate. So what are the coming milestones uh, you're planning so, to So the achieve? coming milestones for us is that we, have, uh, we are still ongoing with the business development, trying to find a partner to either check this by themselves or together with us so we can continue doing that. But then in parallel, what we also discovered in preclinical models that actually our drug not only works for men, it actually also helps women that are suffering from low sexual desire. So that's something that we also are interested in and we've been out also on the road with that, with the data we have. And we see a lot of interest in that as well. And we have announced earlier that we think that Initiative Pharma is not just a men's sexual health, but it's actually sexual health in general for women and men. And we are wanting to exploit that to get the most out of the opportunity that we are sitting on. It should be a huge market, right? Oh, yes, it's a very large market. Yeah. What do you estimate? So if you look at the, the, the female uh, sexual dysfunction drug, there's no approved drug for postmenopausal women. And, and you know, that's an estimated you know, two to three, four billion US dollars in the US alone. And the ED market, because we will not be the only drug out there, but will be for a specific population, will be between one to two billion US dollars. So in combined for the same product, a very large market. And why are you a good uh, business case for investors? I think that what we have generated since the beginning of the company, we have generated good solid data. We are conducting trials in a proper manner, so double blinded placebo controlled studies. So the quality of what we produce is quite high. I also postulate that we are probably the, the you know biotech company in Sweden with the lowest burn, even though we are a Danish company because we actually spend all our money making sure we deliver clinical results. And you know we do that by having a very small team that is very engaged. And then also, of course, we hire in the specialists that we need them when we need them. So we don't need to have a CMC guy on the payroll for continuous time. He's there when we need it. And so and vice versa. So you have a low burn rate. Very low burn rate, yeah. That sounds great yeah. and very interesting. Yes. Thank you so much for being here today and uh, good luck with a good job. Yeah, thank, thank you, you and so thank much. you for the questions. Appreciate it.